Hi, how you doing? Um, okay, so I thought I would just do a really short video on something. So the rest of the um, Christian community, I do consider myself a Christian, like I've said, and a witch. I believe Jesus was a witch. Um, my my take on Christianity is pretty, <laughs> couldn't be more different, you know, than other Christians. It's like, I'm sure I'm blasphemous and everything else to them and blah, blah, blah. But hopefully I get my First Amendment, First Amendment right honored. But the rest of the, the Christian world, they don't do the Passover. They do Easter. And uh, Easter Sunday is coming up. And their perspective is some of them know that all the symbols of Easter comes from the festival of Esther. It's a pagan holiday that the bunny and the rabbit and oh, bunny is a rabbit and the eggs and all the stuff are symbols of spring because it's kind of it's kind of like a, like a spring equinox celebration, you know. There's spring equinox and then there's the festival of Esther, you know. And it's and it's just kind of taken that and then the concept of the the Passover and that was the thinking of the Catholic Church at the time when it was Mary and paganism and and Christianity as it was you know it was like oh hey you know it's trying to it was trying to you know it was being manipulative in and making things look like it was that way you know so so um so they're celebrating the resurrection so I thought I would do this video on what I, what I believe about the resurrection how that fits into the whole reincarnation and just everything else that I believe that's so different. Um, so again, the, the, the creation story, the Bible is not a book of science, nor is it a book of history, nor is it a book of archaeology. So that's another way I, tr I, tr I differ tremendously from the other Christians. They believe that it's that it's the most true book of history, the most true book of archaeology, the most true book of science. <laughs> but the creation story, it's like, it's funny. It's like, have you even actually read it? Because it, it's especially, the thing is, they don't know anything about the Hebrew language or the Kabbalah, you know, or they wouldn't make that, that mistake. It's obviously an introduction to the deity, you know. The first day, let there be light, isn't because there was finally light. Because it already said there was like days and nights and it like it doesn't make any sense at all if you take it like a science book because it's like oh well you know now you're creating the sun and you, there was already divided waters and and you know <laughs> if you're now just creating the earth why would there already be waters like absolutely nothing about it would make any sense from their perspective but yet they don't even notice it's pretty crazy but on the first day, let there be light. That's because that's wands. It's fire. And then the, the big the, the big ball, how the earth was just a bunch of water. That's water. And, then, and you know, Y-H-W, which is air. You know, and then land rose. And then the fourth day, the reason it's not because of the sun and all that was finally created. It's just because four is earth. Y-H-W-H, -H, Yahweh. Fire, water, air, and earth. You know, earth meaning manifest form because the earth is the manifest world. Uh, I, on my playlist, the uh, the origins of our species slash world, uh, there's a, a rabbi that goes over how that's not really, if you understand Hebrew, that's not, that's not what it says. It doesn't say that God created the entire universe during the seven days of creation. You know, if, if you know Hebrew, you would never make that mistake. Um, it's just a, an ignorant, conventional Christian mistake because they don't know Hebrew and they don't know the Kabbalah. It's, it's, it's kind of funny if you think about it. But anyway, so so we're we're in the healing power of the cross and analyzing the meaning of the numbers. And the cross antedates Jesus, and the days of unleavened bread antedate Jesus. And the Passover, you know, from is from Moses's day when. When um, the death angel, the angel of death passed over the people, and then they would celebrate the Passover each year to remember that, that the Lord saved them from uh, the Egyptians, the Hebrews from the Egyptians way back in Moses' day, and then they crossed the Red Sea and all that. So, so the symbols themselves have always been there. And Jesus, when Jesus did the the, the, the Passover and called him, called himself the Lamb, he was saying that he was the Passover Lamb that. And so that's why we don't kill a lamb anymore, because we realize that Jesus was the lamb that was killed. 
and that that's what the symbols had meant all along. So that's, that's why we we redo the symbols so that it meets the you know the the Christian thing, you know, because all along that's what it was meant to be. You know, if you're a Christian, I mean, that's what you believe. That's what it means to be Christian. It, you know, even though that's not what they believe, you know, and in the context of the Bible, which is not the Word of God, but it's kind of like if you're gonna, if I'm gonna say the Lord of the Rings is my favorite story, then I might as well read it, <laughs> and then I might as well like enjoy the story and 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 kind of like you know learn from the story and assimilate life experiences with the story and everything you know <laughs> so it's just kind of funny but so we're the so talking about the resurrection not just for the sake of distinguishing my beliefs about the resurrection the Jan Sway's beliefs um, versus the Christians but just also just because it's a good review anyway because the resurrection is a big part of what the deity is all about Yahweh so um, to resurrect, you know, it went, like the resurrection that we're waiting for in the, in the apocalypse and everything, it's not people coming out of the ground. I don't believe that there will ever be bodies coming out of the ground. Most Christians do believe that. They also believe Jesus, they don't believe that Jesus comes in a cloud of marijuana smoke. <laughs> Why they don't believe that, I don't know. It's like, have you read the Bible? You don't know that the cloud of smoke is cannabis smoke? What the hell? Do you even know how to read? They actually believe in me Jesus will be floating in a cloud and it's like what the fuck dude that's so funny but they also believe that literally bodies will come out of the ground like 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 uh, like um, Iron Maiden here's a favorite album of mine of Iron Maiden live after death and um, so you can see Eddie's just coming out of the ground uh, that's that's what they think is gonna happen. They think that Eddie is gonna come out of the ground, you know, and then Iron Maiden song is gonna come on. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's funny, but um, no, uh, Jesus in the New Testament it says many times it makes it very clear that the resurrection happens now, and it was saying the resurrection happens now in the New Testament, which was two thousand years ago. The resurrection was then, now, and will always be in the now, because the eternal part of you is in the now. It's um, who you are is not in the future. The future you is not you. The past you is not you. The eternal part of you is the you that's in the now, right now. And um, that's the only thing about you that lasts forever is the now. And that's why when you transcend your ego on meditation, you you silence the chatter and all the and everything and all the ego and everything to to be the eternal part of you which is you know the breathing and the now so so the resurrection to resurrect it's it's really it's kind of it's kind of like it's a bit it's more like necromancy you know Jesus resurrected if you study necromancy you're resurrecting the spirit you know and, and the soul and spirit of a person is their aura you know so, so to resurrect is to, um, like I remember one of the first Rasta books I said, it was going over why Rastas talk the way Rastas do, you know? And like I and I and, and overstanding and all this, they say, because it resurrects the spirit of the Rasta man, you know? So like, see, like that, like kind of like, why do we celebrate the 4th of July? To resurrect the original feelings of when you know, of, of when we are an independent country, you know? Why do we celebrate birthdays? To resurrect our, the spirit of our birth that we were born. Why do we celebrate anything, you know? Or why do we remember anything, you know? Why do you have pictures of your child when your child was a baby? They're not a baby anymore. Because to kind of resurrect that spirit so you'll always remember what they were like when they were a baby, you know? So to resurrect the spirit of Jah is just to to live it, to, to keep it lit like a flame in your soul. And, um, you know, so the resurrection, I did a, a video on um, what the healing, I show on my tattoo, what the about the apocalypse. If you look at my playlist, the very first video, the playlist about the apocalypse, um, it's, it's, it's on both of my channels. You'll, uh, I go over this, that the healing powers of the fire, it's not a nuclear bomb and it's not 
literally fire and all that. It's the lifting out of ignorance through temperance, you know. And so, so to resurrect the spirit of Jah is to resurrect the right spirit that uh, for the Bible believer and for the worshiper of Yahweh to uh, resurrect all the right spirits and all the right uh, knowledge and all the right everything so that we can know how to live in peace. All of this is, they're just lessons to teach us how to, out, to out, outgrow peace and abolish peace and, and elitism and racism and fascism and put it behind us and, and live the higher law, you know, uh, like we know with uh, uh, Revelation chapter 12 with Michael and Lucifer, you know, Lucifer, Lucifer uh, wants everybody to go to heaven, you know, when when, you, when all those, those religiosos are all, you know, let's, we can't have pornography in our town because then people will look at pornography. That's the spirit of Lucifer, you know, to take away someone's choice and to force them to go to heaven. That was Lucifer's plan. Michael's plan is, hey, let's make sure there's a porn shop on every corner. We want people to be able to choose pornography if that's what they want. You know, because then the people that, that that choose it either for the right reasons or not for the wrong reasons um, will will gather together for all the right reasons, you know. Then heaven will be a place that people go because they understood why they're there in the first place. You know, you don't know the, the sweet till you know the bitter, you know. You have to, it's a process of learning, you know, and growing and reincarnating and trying it again and reincarnating and trying it again. It's the, the purpose of it all is to learn how to live in peace.